Global Vancouver. 国际美食温哥华。国际美食温哥华。Dunia Kekana Vancouver. 国际美食温哥华。Dunia Kekana Vancouver. 国际美食温哥华。Vancouver. 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 Double major in English, literature, and psychology. Major is bachelor of science in natural resource conservation. My major is first nation studies. Science major, and I specialize in hydrogel. My major is chemistry. What is Vancouver, and where you belong? Your fed things. What you need to do, and what you need to learn, and what you need to memorize. You don't get to think for yourself a lot. You learn it up, and you get out on the exam the next day. To do a crappy job of actually training our youth. For global citizenship, the CCHS and UBC, we've got a program where we're getting kids. They're kids, they're like 19 to 23 year olds. Right? Every student that goes through one of my classes, they do an oral history of their family. Pictures are worth nothing once a person's dead, so uh, I'm here to collect all those stories. It, this course is pretty important to me because I found out that I was Chinese. <laughs> Uh, kind of a funny there story. There's your migration and nobody really talks about it all in the book. We can about her family, her heritage, and her background, and everything that they went through and come here. Because I can come in and just back myself. Right away, I'm like, David's mom. I wanted to capture us cooking together and, you know, just really learning another culture. The stories of these people who are coming from all around the world to Canada, and often those stories, those lives, don't get passed on. The there are other histories, I think, that are not recorded, that are not national histories, but are still just as relevant and just as I'm important. not trying to disregard the histories that are written down. You learn a history about something by realizing or uncovering the errors that previous historians have made, and you really get down to it. Could you tell me a bit more about what you, what you did as president while you so where did you move to first when you came to Canada? You can't think about the Chinese like it's not your own culture. It's the difference between a border patrol history, a watchdog history, a surveillance history, and a history from the point of view of the people who live in history. We're in a digital age now, so I'm doing an electronic Not everyone everything Forget everything you knew about history before. Forget high school. That's high school. We're getting into the good stuff now. Southern colonialism created a certain history, a national history. It was the students who were in charge of what they wanted to know. It actually encourages you to do so much more. It was a place where the choices that a family would make in seeing that world are not related to the documents we have. It's a start. Yeah, and it's like the start of my experience with the Bay family. Just the difference between this class and the other class are very different what to do. I've taken more from this course than any other course in all of my four years in UBC. So many good things about Vancouver and so many good things about Canada have stemmed from migration. It's not just a job you learn from it. It's very educational, it's very involved. It's really a blessing to have a professor who will work with you in what you want to do and what you're good at doing. There is a history, the rise, I call it, of a Pacific Canada that is a history that got your oral history, well, you know, people's memories, right? They're not really reliable, and they're, they're stories of people mattering away about their lives and stuff, as if this was not real history. Those histories are the histories that make Canada what it is. And the same year, Canada opens up it's those same histories that make us care, and it's those same histories that are not yet recorded. So there's an idea. Most of our class actually volunteer to come back. I guess this is the Chinese part of me wanting to chase after that and finding it in the guise of the Canadian History Project. Project, like most. Oral histories are, you know, they're supposed to be. Maybe this is just something that's growing. I hope it is, and I hope to be a part of it still. Let's do the history, let's do the present, let's do the future.